January the 5th, 2019, it is. Today is Saturday. I was thinking about yesterday. It was exactly the correct decision I would do if the guy would not have hepatitis A. Uh, this individual tortured. This is a MK Ultra, MK Ultra trainer. And this individual tortured heavily under MK Ultra. That's all I'm going to say. When you get a legitimate excuse like this, that you can do whatever is it you want to do with him as well as mine, use it because it's a once in lifetime almost opportunity. Uh, this individual traces straight to Kremlin. And again, if he wouldn't have that hepatitis A, uh, I, as well as mine, probably I would have done it. Uh, this is just the way it is. You can't do the stuff like this and expect someone like myself to submit to you just because you have performed so much stuff against him. It doesn't work this way. Who these people are? This is a message uh, for Grotniki people, for Ustronia. These families are the same families that were here in 2005, 2006. And they also uh, appeared, some of them, not all of them, afterwards, occasionally here, uh, all the way, I would say, to... I estimate probably even 2000 and, uh, uh, 2010, something like this. I say this because I know that people in Grotniki, in people in Ostrone here, uh, they did some video recordings. Uh, so these are exactly the same people. These people here, the first thing they did was when they got here, all of them, they got themselves transportation cars. Well, why did it got that? Uh, well, they did this so the people would not even record them, so the people would not see them on the streets. A lot of stuff is happening, but it's not coming out. And so I called uh, Polish people uh, to take into account uh, who right now at this center is, what kind of people these people are. These are the Chechen Russians, in respect to whom I have to say, You have all wasted your time. Uh, there is not even a single dime, a penny, you ever going to get from me. For one thing I'm going to tell you. It's like a mafia, like a Gambino family. About, what is it, 23 families, whatever it is, that have profited from the Russia, for doing the shit they did to me. I have lost even very important proofs because of these people, because of the shit they have done here. Uh, their idea was to create chaos, unrest, uh, problems as many as possible. Uh, and this was done something according to MK Ultra program, which previously took place. At the end, however, just like the KGB, other KGBs, what they would want to do is they would want to get compensated again. We were in Chechnya. They have demonstrated me homes of these people. They had new homes. I'm not going to say that all of them have. I don't know. It might not be the same situation for all of them. Some of them have a brand new homes in Chechnya. They were very pleased with the Chechnya. Very pleased with the Chechnya, very good. And the money like this should be used for multiple purposes. That, that would be the money which they would obtain through recognizing my case. They would publicly recognize the case. I would become like, it would become like legitimate case. My case was legitimate already before I came to Poland, for one thing. The second thing is, these people didn't do anything but trouble. I'm talking about the Chechen Russians. I'm not talking about international crew. International crew departed from here. By the way, international crew didn't like these people at all. Anything about these people. Uh, there were Muslims inside of that international crew who didn't like 
anything about these people here. Simple as this, anything about these people here. They departed about, I don't know, what is it now, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, maybe something like this. And so right now, the only thing that is left here are Russians from Tajikistan and Russians from Chechnya and a Ruski over there from Minsk. The second thing is that there are video recordings, numerous video recordings about my being here, right here at this place. And in Grotniki, uh, I should say Ostronia, in this area here out of, outside of the center. And in Prushkov, and in Dembak, and in Warsaw, and in Zakopane, and in uh, Novi Turk and so on, and in Slovenia, and in Norway, and in other locations. You have the proofs, I'm talking to the Polish people about this stuff, and it's the one that I also want to support. I'm not interested in supporting someone, something like this. These people have created problems. Number one thing what they did, they have created problems for themselves because of the improper conduct within, within the society. When these people came here, these people are not like this, really. It's not really how they are. But when they were here in 2004, 2005, and 2006, that was a whole different story. They were completely wild. Basically, like they are right now. If you would have this kind of conduct in any country in Europe, and it's about the same thing elsewhere. If you would go to China or you would go to whatever you would go, Africa or wherever you would go and you would behave like this, they would have kicked you out badly. They would have beaten you up. And that's exactly the kind of conduct these people have displayed here in 2004, 2005, 2006 to the politicians. And so what they did was they created a whole bunch of issues like this, which now they have repeated the whole thing uh it does not even cross my mind i would stand behind somebody like this like behind a criminal concern like behind a big mafia family gangsters criminals that would penetrate into poland and i would compensate them uh and so on and so forth my roommate is a triple agent he works for the russia he works for the saudi arabia and he works also for some Polish, you can say Polish government, because within the Polish government, you no longer know who is what. And this option actually happened, this option existed. And so the question is what the Polish government really is. To me, I have to make the same conclusion Americans have made prior to me. And it doesn't matter really, again, it doesn't matter to me what, uh, what blah, 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 blah. Ask Americans who were here what kind of conclusions they have made when I was here, when they had me here, they were with me, what kind of conclusions they have made about this whole thing. They have come to the same conclusion. The only thing is, they didn't have facts, they didn't have proofs like I have gathered about it all. Where the country is heading, there is no doubt. This is one, this is another, another thing. I am interested in helping out Polish people, Polish nation, Polish people came forward, Polish people helped me out, Polish people confirmed my being here with their witnessing, with their accounts given me when I asked them about things and they have confirmed and stuff like this and I know they have these things and this is what I'm interested in pursuing, uh, promoting forward. I'm not interested in changing myself, I'm not interested in emigrating anywhere, I'm not interested in anything else than in Poland. This is why I came here. I didn't come here to learn Ruski and to see some strange faces here that are mafia related. That are, there is a big Gambino family uh, lurking out along together with the KGB with some kind of Eastern European mafia here. This is the stuff that needs to be banned, that needs to be banished from Poland. In Poland we don't want to have this kind of a stuff happening in the first place. We want to have a clean, European-alike, uh, in German they say provisorisch, they, um, 
country where it can be seen what really is happening, not what is happening like this under the, the table, uh, all kinds of criminal deals and stuff like that. Okay, so that's all there is. Uh, this 23 families, these Chechen families are out. They have agreement with one another. They have agreement with a KGB guy. Uh, basically, all for one. Uh, <laughs> uh, and one for all, uh, none of them is going to come forward with absolutely anything. And the most important part is I don't need them to come forward with anything. I don't need any of them. They have agreement with one another. They're going to stick to it. Uh, and they should. That's basically a done deal and a good message to the Warsaw uh, for what happened yesterday. And in the future, what's going to happen is it's going to be a police report over there filed against the police officers, which I am going to pursue, like it or not. Uh, that's all is being said. Uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't get into it. It was a one of a kind of opportunity to do stuff like this this individual was involved in mk ultra for years you have no idea what this dude orchestrated in this forests around here and inside of the center and so on and so forth you have no idea what this guy did and on the top of that he allowed himself even physical violence abuse against me three months ago so uh it was the correct decision i did uh in both cases, somehow uh, I avoided the worst, I think. Uh, I got about four hours of sleep, went to sleep at 2 o'clock in the morning, because at 6 o'clock in the morning, Chechenko, Ruski, uh, already started creating noise, banging back and forth. You know, I should go and learn Polish, right? Um, I should go about my stuff because these people are interested in my doing the stuff. Uh, they want to see me. This is what they have suggested. They want to see me full of energy. They want to see me energized. Proof, actually, that I am not going to fail somewhere along the road. Of course, this is a bullshit. When you consider what they have created, uh, when you consider that this is a sleep deprivation that takes away from your ability to even go and study language, in other people, other signs would appear, they probably would start to hate the language. They probably would start to hate the Polish culture alone, which have permitted these things to happen. It didn't happen to me, this, and it never will. And if I would be stupefied enough, I would even make maybe the biggest mistake in my life. It was suggested under MK Ultra that these are going to be people that... Uh, they always going to make sure that it's always going to be around me and the only thing it's going to be, it's going to be like they're going to be watching out for me. There's all kinds of scenarios they have created, all kinds of bullshit. Uh, a failure, it's not going to happen. I call Polish people uh, in whom I am interested. This is what I'm here for. Uh, to come forward, uh, these people are next. As of right now, they are nothing. Uh, I'm not interested in making any kind of deals, and I am not going to make any kind of deals with them. And I'm thinking about, for that matter, maybe even with somebody else. I am evaluating these things from very up closely. Uh, this is, as of right now, how things are. And I'm making these, these things public. So there's not going to be any kind of uh, expectations or anything like this. They're already miserable enough. These people are so miserable that it's unbelievable what kind of misery this is. Uh, yesterday when I came back at 8.30, I wanted to throw this guy out, out of the room. Boy, there were like 20 of them. They rushed inside of the room to help him out and stuff like that. It was like... They just waited for me to come and see the reaction and just, wow, we are all with him, we are all with him, and stuff like that. No, uh, the church in Ruskis, you're all out, as well as mine. Take the bus and head back wherever you came from, or whatever it is that you're going to do. With you, I got nothing. From me, you're never ever going to get anything. The only thing you're going to get is a subpoena. 
It's called a court subpoena. That's all there is. Thanks for watching this video. January 5th, 2019. Bye-bye.